I had actually purchased the WWE Network out of curiosity, and I was feeling a little risky with my money. I mean, it's $9.99 per month with a six-month commitment. I don't really have a lot to lose with that money. It's practically a steal. And the first thing I saw, the first thing I went out and I searched for was anything with Raven in it, since Raven has recently become a favorite of mine. And I saw the first ECW pay-per-view, ECW Barely Legal, and I enjoyed what I just saw at the time. I purchased this thing, what, two days ago? It was, it was a blast. The second thing I searched out for, and this was for 11 p.m. of last night, was anything with Jericho and Dean Malenko, and I ended up seeing WCW Uncensored 1998, uh, almost a year later, 11 months, that's the big difference. And what a difference that was. It was a, also a great show, and I'm glad I got my money's worth already. I mean, this was easily worth $10, plus the sales tax. No contest. Sadly, uh, I actually think they provide live in the WWE Network, live 24-hour service, wasn't really up to my liking. Some of it just seemed like stuff on the WWE YouTube channel that they moved there, and a lot of people have said that too. I saw Raw Backstage Pass, and at the time when the app was just made, it almost sounded like a cool thing, because at 11 p.m., when the show is going to close, they don't say, well, good night, everybody. The show was crazy. None. They didn't hit you with the jingle. They say, up next, in the corner you see the little backstage pass corner. See what happens next in the backstage pass. And then you get to hear the then, now, forever jingle. So I'm thinking, alright, they want me to get the app so I can see the backstage pass and what happens next. I was expecting a dark match or something of that nature. But what I was treated to was a little different. I was treated to, um, it was kind of like, you guys watch the NBA, right? I know you guys don't watch the NBA. Well, the NBA, they have this thing called the halftime, halftime break. Let me write it down right now. N B A F time. No, it's a halftime show, and that usually has Shaquille O'Neal and a couple of other faces you know from the past in the NBA, all having talking segments with one another. I'm talking about what they just saw, and that's kind of what this is, except it's the closing thing. This time it's a halftime thing. It featured this time Josh Matthews, Booker T, I don't know, uh, Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart was a recent person, and I know it was someone else before, but he got replaced tonight. And Alex Riley, so this is what Alex Riley's career has succumbed to. From beating The Miz at Capital Punishment 2011, to dropping out, to being a speaking persona. I can get behind it. What the hell?
At least, at least he's being featured in some way. And he has a purpose. And he doesn't have to deal with nasty injuries in the ring. Give him that. Talking segments were alright, but... For a $10 network, nah, it wasn't worth that kind of money. You got a little backstage fallout thing with Daniel Bryan, but... Okay, I could probably just watch the backstage fallout on the WWE page on YouTube. But I wouldn't watch that anyway, so what's the point? I will throw this offer. I'm going to do the retro reviews again. Remember, in late 2012, I was doing those retro reviews where I was reviewing past Raw's, SmackDown's, and even Nitro at one point, just for just for one episode. And I figured I'm going to review old school pay-per-views now since it's a lot easier. I know some people are going to get in the bandwagon now that it's more affordable to do and less strenuous to find. They've already written one review. That's the catch. There are going to be written reviews on my blogger account, ourwakingnightmare.blogspot.com. And I intend to make it that way so that it's entertaining. People like my writing style. It's different from my video making style. I can keep myself busy there since my political rambles aren't really sa it isn't really satisfying me as much anymore. I don't find that as interesting as I used to for now. I'm gonna take a little break from that nonsense. Talk about what really matters, which is old school wrestling pay per views. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start off with 1998's uncensored pay per view in WCW, and just give you my general thoughts on that pay per view. I'll review every match on the card. I'll lay it all on the line. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to do ECW, I believe. Fairly Legal 97. I'll move on to maybe the main event of WrestleMania. Like I saw the main event matches of 26 and 29, but nah. By then I'll probably watch some more pay-per-views and I'll find my little favorites here and there. I'm gonna start off with the ones I really like or dislike. Whatever gets me a reaction since that's easier for a reviewer to do. I know this one got me a pleasant reaction. I enjoyed watching this one. It's already been written. It's coming out Saturday. Be sure to read it. I'll provide a link when it happens. This is Mr. Wonka 7 and suck my dick. <laughs>